Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon. So, uh, we're not in a great spot right now. Um, we have not even done half of the rooms in this dungeon yet. And everybody's insane. And three people are currently bleeding out. Uh, the leper is going to be reduced to one health in a couple turns. The occultist, uh, Fitzherbert. The first one to go insane, which is interesting because he's actually less stressed out than the lepers right now. Um, he's going to be at about four health, and Drew is going to be at about two health. So, I am thinking it might be time to camp for the night. Um, since we don't need to explore 100% of rooms, we might just abandon this last room. <laughs> We might just camp and um yeah we're gonna walk our way back to the entrance because that'll be where we'll start the next branch and i'd like to not waste any time the next day um moving all this way because we'll lose some of the free light that we got so we're just gonna head back there and hopefully yes i don't keep moving injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice Hopefully we can reduce some of the stress that we've, you know, taken. And I'm also hopeful that maybe someone in the party has the ability to remove um, insanity things. Because I'm pretty sure there are survival skills that do that. But I guess we will see. At the least, we can get some health back from... God damn it. Okay, we can't eat anything, because we don't have enough food for tomorrow now. Cool. Alright. Uh, let's camp for the night. I guess we'll just have to eat something and hope. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. Well, we may as well eat three. Damn it, if we'd gotten here just a little bit earlier... We could have gotten the minus 10 stress and plus 25% HP, which would have been really nice. Oh, well. How did you get stressed out from eating? Uh, prevents nighttime ambush would probably be quite good. Plus 50% scouting chance would be quite good. Minus stress damage received would be good, but we need to reduce stress on everybody. Reduce torch light by 100, increase stress by 15. One companion heal 50%, remove mortality at e-buffs. Well, that would be the leper. Reduce torchlight by a hundred. How does that work with camping? Does that mean we would start the next day with zero torchlight? Because we are at zero torchlight right now, right? That's how camping works. And then you get reset to a hundred at dawn. Huh. I'm not sure. Um, can't do that one because it'll kill him. We could reduce his stress by 20. Just, you know, as a thing. Nobody really has that much healing. In fact, the leper is the only person with any healing. Okay, well, um... Yeah, reduce your own stress a bit. Or don't. Okay, he just refused to do that. Alright, um... And you can't wound care yourself, can you? There you go, just heal him up. Okay, do we have anything else that's worth doing? Um, I'm tempted to do this one. But it will also increase his stress. Hang on, we have a thing, right? Laudanum. We could find out what laudanum does. Plus 50% stress healing received. For two rounds. Okay, that's not quite as helpful as I thought it was going to be. Um, we also have this Remedy of Resolve. Which we could find out what that does. Sure, let's put it on the leper. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Minus 13% protection for two battles. Okay. Uh, I really wish the other occultist had this ability. Oh, no, he does. Okay, perfect. All right, because he can absorb the stress a little bit more than the other guy can. Sure, let's go for it. There we go. Heal him up. Um, we do not have time to do the Prevent Nighttime Ambushes one, which is unfortunate. And we don't really have time to do anything else of value. Okay, well, we can pep talk this guy at least, I guess. Reduce the stress damage he receives. And that's that. That's all we can do. 
And then everybody just picks up a bunch more stress again. Great. Thanks, guys. Oh, boy. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Okay, so yeah, it was in fact just next day you start at zero torchlight. Well, we just burn four torches. The, light, the promise of safety. Just because we kind of need it. Can't really afford to be walking into traps. By foul invention. Oh, well, we found a torch stance. Yeah, sure. Use a torch on that. A handsome reward for a task well performed. All right. What do you got for me? We're probably going to end up doing, like, the minimum number of rooms we can do, because we are in no position to be pushing our luck here. Oh my god, Drew, your stress just jumped like crazy because you walked into that trap. Stop getting stressed. God damn it. Uh, we have medicinal herbs, which might get us some food or a bunch more gold. All right, I will take it, I guess. Why do you keep getting stressed out by things? Stop stressing Drew out. He's almost dead. Oh my god. You jerks. S stop getting stressed. God damn it. Oh. Okay, this room is also empty. Um, I'm not going to bother with the room that we would have to backtrack from. I'm just going to try and get this done. We don't have any more medicinal herbs either, so I'm not going to touch this. Hello, bag of stuff. More gold. Well, at least we're getting a lot of gold. Okay. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Here, Drew. Have a health potion. Great. 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 Charm shaman. I swear to God, if you charm my leper, you motherfucker. Oh, now he's picking up stress, too. God damn it. Oh. I'm gonna have to get rid of that guy quick. Oh, the leopard does so much damage, too. Oh, this is gonna sting. Alright, well, on the upside, the leopard can only target the front two people, I happen to know. So, heal yourself there, good sir, Bert. Okay. As life ebbs, terrible okay. vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Everybody's taking damage. And Drew is almost back up at 200 stress again. Up. If only to bleed again. Oh, good. Oh, alright, I'm actually fine with him healing himself. That's perfect. It's fine by me. Um, we can't reach the guy at the back, though, who I need to die. Um, yes. Stop him from doing damage, please. For this exact reason. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Well, so far he's okay. Hey. Jerk. Don't counter buff the people I nerf. Or debuff, I guess is the right term. Oh, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna stress everyone out. Okay, thanks, Drew. You are truly a wonder. You should heal yourself. You should have a heart attack. Okay, that's the true test. Hold fast. Well, that's one enemy down, I guess. Please stop stressing everyone out. Hey, the leopard's back. And now this guy's just gonna grab the dude who can actually damage him. Okay, great, thanks. Okay. Oh, more well, dust, shoot. More ashes. I'd like more to say I'm surprised, but I'm really not. Oh my god. This went just this, this expedition has just been going so wrong from the beginning in every way. 
There we go. Okay, we just need to get rid of this guy. He gets to go first, though. And he killed the leper. Cool, that was like 90% of our damage there. And the hound can't do anything from the space he moved himself to. And he can't swap back with the occultist. Oh god. This has gone all wrong. What are you gonna do, friend? A singular strike. Good job, you showed that corpse what for. Oh, and the corpse is making you bleed. You did good there, good server. Can you please? Thank you. Well, he's still alive. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. He's not, though. Oh, no okay. Everybody died. Uh, so we get nothing from this, I Great imagine. Yep. Adversity has a beauty. It is the fire that tempers. Okay. So that was a good use of five thousand gold there. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. And I don't think we even get the completed our first thing into the cove, so I don't think we even get access nope, we don't get any more things in the cove. Cool. We're gonna have to go back there. Uh we should recruit some new guys though. Like hey, grave robber. Ooh, flagellant. I am okay with both of those things. Alright, where are you good at? Third and fourth slot, that's good. Uh, what we really need is more healers, though. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. We definitely need more healers, because right now we have, what, Mortmain, Pippin, and Ren are only, like, people who can actually heal other people. Speaking of, we should probably move Mortmain and, or send Mortmain and Pippin around separately. Well, we didn't get anything from that quest, so we can't upgrade anything. Uh, we may as well just embark on another one. Let's try the cove again. Ooh, we actually have an Arbalest. Plus 25% move skill chance. Did the Arbalest get a move skill? Uh, Bola. Oh, Bola. Yeah, that would do it. All right. Battlefield Bandage would also probably be a good thing to take. Well... Uh, let's send... We can't send the Abomination and the Flagellant on the same mission, but I would quite like to send the Abomination on something, because he's been sitting around for a while and he's done nothing so far. Uh, so we will send you... You can use all your abilities from the second row, right? Yes, perfect. Alright, you're going in the second row. Uh, we will bring the Brave Robber. There you go. We will bring, uh, Ren... He's quite a good healer, and for our frontline, Brickville, I guess. She's the only frontline person who can actually go with the Abomination. Heaven's Devils. There you go. Now, importantly, I need to remember to give people items. Oh, we only have two items. I could have sworn we had more, but I... Oh, we do have more. Brickville is carrying one of them. Who else is carrying items? This is why I always forget about the items. Anybody else? Uh, you, but we don't have any other... Oh, no, we do have another Crusader. All right, yeah, you should put that back in our inventory then. Nobody else, I think, is carrying anything. Ren is, but he's going on the mission, so that's fine. All right, so... Uh, Brickville has the Maester's Hat, which is good. Probably going to want to give uh, you the Bloody Bear. I would like to... I guess we can just bring this along, right? We can just give it to somebody. Yeah, and we'll just give it to you. Um, and we can always give it to someone else if their stress starts getting high. Alright, well, let's hop to it. So, provisions. Okay, that should do. Um, I think 12 torches should be enough. I don't feel like we've ever been using all of our torches, and I just haven't been paying enough attention to notice. But we'll find out, I guess. Alright, I'm determined to actually complete it this time, just so we can have access to- Why are you all stressed already? God damn it. Uh, Alright, let's get this over with. Uh, Grave Robber should be the one poking everything, because she has really good trap, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 50%. I think there's like 
50% is the highest of his base for any character. Alright, what do you got? I probably should check your abilities before I... Can you stealth? Is that a thing? De-stealth, de-stealth. I guess they get an ability that lets them stealth. They, she just doesn't have it right now. Anyways, that blight four points for four rounds is pretty nice. Um, I am going to... Jeez, she has a lot of high damage abilities. Forward, 6, 12, 3, 6, 4, 8. Yeah, these are all pretty good, but let's play this guy first off. There we go. Uh, speaking of blighting people... Okay. Let's bomb it on him. Okay, so that dude's dead on his next turn. We no longer have to worry about him. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that's not bad. Lead I can do without whatever. Um, these guys aren't really Eldritch, so there's actually not a lot Ren can do here. We may as well just heal up the very level. Then immediately get some more bleed. Okay, well. There we go. There we go. Alright, so now you can just. I'm half tempted to do lunge. Because it just does a lot of hurt. And we have a decent chance of killing this guy with it. <sighs> nope, he's gonna be okay. Barely. You can't really hit him with anything either. You can't really hit anyone with anything with this guy. Especially once that dude dies, he's just not gonna be able to attack anybody. Keep on healing, Ren. Alright, so do you have anything that moves you forward? Or hits multiple people. No, he only does when he transforms. We could transform. We might be able to end this end this fight pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure I still get a move after transforms, right? That was a lot of stress we just picked up there. All right. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. All right, the self stun, and then you. Continually on. Okay, that works. Destroy. I always forget how that ability works. It hits everybody in the front three rows. Remind right, yourself that here. overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, lots of things are much faster killers than overconfidence, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's keep going. Go check out these uh, side rooms. Hey, we found torches. We already know what this does. Oh, I should have tried the small dagger since we have it. We've already gotten something else out of it. Oh well. Hello. That's a lot of groupers. That's three groupers and a jellyfish now. Alright. Uh, this is probably a fight where we're going to want to transform fairly early on. And they also have low blight resist, which is good. Shape shifting. Oh, there's two shape shifting ones. Alright. Well, why don't we focus the ones in the front? Since we can hit them right now. Um. Yeah, we're okay on. S we could actually just get more blade on them, really. Ah, we'll transform. This is gonna be a rough fight, I think, and they don't have a lot of stuff that causes stress, so we should actually be okay to just do stuff like this. Oh, and here comes all of the damage. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of impressed that being stunned doesn't reduce your uh, dodge at all. It's a little bit unexpected. Alright. Uh, yeah, just keep on healing people. That. Okay. Just keep on doing nothing, I guess. Uh, let's see. So this dude's taking four damage per round, so if we hit him with something... Or we could just kill him. That works too. Getting rid of the shape shifting ones first is probably for the best. Wow, she's somehow better at dodging while she's stunned, I guess. Alright, uh, we need to just focus down these guys in the front, I guess. Uh, heal up. Yeah. Ren, come on, man. Stop rolling zero for your healing. Yeah, and I'm liking this dodging. What we got going on here? 
All right, you. Oh, I can't do slam from here. That's unfortunate. All right, well, you may as well just transform back, honestly, at this point. Here we go. Give everybody a little bit of stress reduction and... Uh, I guess just stun somebody. Yeah, try and finish him off. There you go. Alright, that corpse is gonna go away from Blight in a minute, but it's gonna make everyone bleed first. See, now that she's not stunned anymore, she can't dodge things. Yeah, you should bandage yourself. Um, and you should... You should get some Blight on these guys. Something to clear corpses, which I don't have, unfortunately. All right, uh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, you can fortunately target like everybody, which is good. Okay, so I'll just keep fighting people. Seven damage per round. All right, he's not. Gonna, if we can do a little bit of damage to him, or he'll just blow himself up. That actually did a lot of damage, and the Occultist is going to start bleeding now. Cool. That's not great. Alright, can you try and stun this guy? Because I don't want him stabbing the Occultist while I'm trying to prevent him from bleeding to death. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal right. themselves. Heal yourself. There we go. Okay, good. Resisted the bleed, too. God damn. See, that's why I wanted the Thrall to be dead. Those things are dangerous. Alright, man, the Cove gives a ton of gold, but it's also really, really dangerous, is what I'm learning. Alright, drink a healing potion. Okay, we're... Uh, you're not gonna take that much more damage from Bleed. Three damage per round for two rounds is actually kind of scary. But whatever, we should be okay. I hope. Ah, I read a tooltip about these in the loading screen, and they apparently like dog biscuits, uh, which we don't have, because we don't have the Houndmaster. But, we can try poking them with a dagger. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna leave then. I don't have anything else that I wanna try poking that thing with. Wait, did I buy two shovels by accident? Or did I find a shovel? I think I bought two by accident. Nah, crud. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay, well, uh, that is probably a good place to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.